So, what is going on guys? This is Ryan here. And this is Other Ryan here. And today we're going to be talking about something really interesting that me and Ryan have both discovered. Now, what we're actually referring to is Night 5 and the actual ending of Five Nights at Freddy's 3. A really peculiar series of events actually take place, which kind of showcases the purple guy becoming Springtrap. And uh, there's something a little bit more interesting that we all forgot to look at within this sequence. So basically on Night 5, we spawn in as the famous crying child that we know to be the puppets. Yes. And um, we actually get access to the back area and we see it for yeah. the first time. And within yeah. this uh, sequence, we see the spring trap frantically running around, looking scared. And we we are joined. You mean the purple guy. Yeah, the purple guy. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> running around, looking scared, and we're yep. joined by four other dead children. And they they seem to kind of block the entrance. So that's probably why this purple guy is panicking. There's no way out. He's kind of closed in with you. And yeah. yeah, he's very fearful of you, isn't he? And he kind of, he, he jumps back and he makes sure that he keeps his distance from you until he kind of gets a smart idea to get inside this suit. And I think the first thing he ever does is he actually messes up quite badly here because he starts laughing. And uh, in one of the nights, it particularly says not to kind of breathe too, uh, was it too much or move too much when you're yeah, in these suits? Yeah, it's a very it sensitive, water damage. basically you're meant to, you, it's called a spring lock. You're meant to lock it into place and make sure that, to make sure that it doesn't snap back on you. And it says yeah, and not, kill you. it's very sensitive basically is, is what they're yeah. saying. And they're actually saying you know if the spring lock goes off but just kindly go and die somewhere that's what they pretty basically much say. yeah get out of the way of all the children and uh yeah just go and die on your own yeah. just, <laughs> very nice so the reason why we're kind of being so analytical about this specific series of events is because of something that happened in the Five Nights at Freddy's 3 teaser trailer. And uh, I think you guys can now see where we're going with this. Okay, so the first time we actually see this animatronic, what we actually see is him twitching quite frantically against the wall in a slouched position. Now, the final position of this uh, sequence of events when we see him actually inside Springtrap well, sorry, becoming Springtrap, should I say. He's twitching with his back against the wall with his legs raised, which is a similar position to what we see in the trailer, which it kind of instantly instantly makes me think, are we kind of first seeing this actually happening in the trailer as like an advanced preview of what happens on Night 5? But, you know, we wouldn't all... None of us would actually know that was kind of in relation to this at all until we played the game, would we? Exactly. It's like Scott's slyly put the ending of Five Nights at Freddy's 3 into the very first time we see this character. Yeah, and I think... Quite what else makes it quite interesting is that this is the first time we see Purple Guy become Spring Trap. Now, the first time we actually also see the, the Spring Trap in the trailer, he's doing a similar series of events. So the connection between seeing these guys both for the first time doing the same thing, it seems like that's exactly what Scott is trying to show us. And now that the dots have connected, uh, I think we can see it. And it's actually quite, wow, it's almost like it's coming from the perspective of the child, isn't it? Kind of slowly panning in and watching him die because it's yeah. it's a slow pan of in kind of interest. And it's from where the child would have actually been. And it's it kind of makes you think like, does the pan is the pan going into him kind of there to represent interest and you know he's dying let's watch him die almost yeah well you it's, know it's quite barbaric and i think this the final thing this leads on to is something that you actually uh, raised as a serious question in that is which establishment does this take place in so basically we know in five nights of freddy's 2 that there was a previous diner and the phone guy quotes the old place was left to rot now yeah. in each mini game at the very end you can see rats on the floor. You can see um, leaks in the roof, obviously, from Many where the roof leaks, yeah. came, caved in. So maybe yeah. this is the establishment it took place in. Yeah, and it seems if it's very damaged, you've got to think, when does this date back to this establishment? It's one of those. It's one of those, once again, the, yeah. the timeline the whole thing with Scott is absolutely crazy. Because I think we have to think another thing. I mean, we know that, uh, you know, the, the series is, whilst it's nearly there, it's still not complete. I mean, th this could be like... Maybe something we see in the next game, couldn't it? Kind of well, like, if there is know, a new game, hopefully. I think there will be. <clears throat> yeah, I think that's still a debatable topic, I think, uh, with the new game or not, but... It's, I think it seems highly likely. Yeah. Yeah. All right <laughs> then, guys. So that was just an interesting look into this series of events. And I hope you guys do actually see this from the same perspective as us. Because I think this is really interesting. Definitely. Quite startling. Yeah, I was going to say, he's showing us this new animatronic like nearly, he's a, thought, yeah. like nearly a month ago we first saw it, didn't we, in the teaser. So it's like, wow, he really did give us an advanced preview. And I don't think anyone saw this coming, so no one's actually thought back. But I think it's a good job we did, because now we kind of can see the correlation between the two. He really did think this whole thing through. Oh, wow, yes. Yes, it's, yes, it's he did. Yeah. Oh, yeah, indeed. So, all right then, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, remember to like the video. And also, if you're new, subscribe for daily theories coming, of course, every day. So, all right then, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Goodbye, guys. Want to see even more content from us? Consider liking and subscribing to ensure you'll see all content in the foreseeable future. And hey, why not check out our past two videos?